Hi everyone, this is Joel Curtis with the National Weather Service with your statewide weather. Starting out with today's weather, we've had uh, isolated thunderstorms spread out all over the state, but it was real interesting this morning as that cold upper level system moves down from the northwest. It's driving a surface low of 995 millibars near Bethel right now. And out in front of it, Bristol Bay got a lot of lightning strikes at about 7 o'clock this morning or so. So it was real interesting how the, the lightning has been distributed around the state. But uh, there's some heavier rain out ahead of the system as it develops and it's moving into the Gulf of Alaska. But, but actually it's, it's uh, going pretty slow. Um, some weak troughs around those low. So then for tonight's weather, that, that uh, uh, low pressure center at the surface will be about 1,000 millibars, roughly near Dillingham or so. And uh, there is a front already forming in the Gulf of Alaska, a little bit of warm front east of Kodiak, a little bit of a cold front there uh, west of Coal Bay. And uh, there's heavy rain in between those two. In the meantime, getting a few snowflakes at the higher elevations, but the west is drying, and that's amazing. So then on Saturday, that low now spins up to 1,003 millibars, and it's right near Sitkanak Island, just to the south of it, with a whole frontal system wrapped around it, warm air moving up, just slightly warmer than usual, moving up into the uh, northern Gulf Coast, and there's some heavy rain out ahead of it, a few snowflakes at higher elevations, but there's a cold front approaching Utiagavik and Point Hope from the west. So there'll be rain out ahead of that system too. And then for Sunday's weather, warming and drying all across most of the mainland. Uh, a few isolated showers in uh, Norton Sound and also Kotzebue Sound, but the main low, 1,001 millibars, will now be off of Kodiak Island with a mature frontal system around it and some, and some heavy rain out in front of it, but most of it not reaching the shore until you get to the North Gulf Coast. Still a few snowflakes on top of the hills. This is Joel Curtis with the National Weather Service with your statewide weather. Great talking to you.